Good day, all. We're back at Not Your Average Antiques in Buzzards Bay, which I haven't taken you to yet. In fact, I haven't really done any antique shopping yet this year since I've started back in with my new short uh, vlogs, postcard vlogs. So I thought I'd start out the antiquing year here at our favorite little thrift shop. So let's go in and have a little browse. Oh, those are cute plates. Things outside are usually much le less expensive as well. So let's, ha oh, I, right away I see a lovely blue and white set of dishes. Again, as I mentioned, I'm trying to find more kind of mix match sets of blue and white dishes that aren't really dear. You know, I, I don't want them to break, but if I put them in Old Kings, I won't mind if guests accidentally break a bread plate or a salad bowl, etc. So this is quite a nice set. Oh, and uh, everything except for a few booths are 50% off. I couldn't get over that. So I'm, and I think the sale goes to the end of February. So I'm going to have a good look. I'll probably grab a few things and then I'll probably think about things to come back. Another cute set, 65. So that would be half of that for that little set. Although I think I have enough teacups. I really need more dinner plates and things. So I might think about that big set I just saw on the dining room table as we walked in. And, uh, Though the, these, these sweet little Victorian chairs aren't really my style, they are quite sweet and they're really amazing price. I mean, at um, half off, they're so much, I mean, cheaper than Ikea and of course would last quite a while if they've lasted this long. So let's have a little look. Oh, that's a cute screen in the distance as well. I kind of like that painting as well, the still life. And actually the round table between the two chairs. I'll have to come back and see what the cost of that is. I'm trying to go slowly so everyone can kind of have a little look-see. The good thing about this place is it's so, um, you know, it really is more thrift shop than antique, but sometimes you'll find nice little rare antiques stuck here and there. But um, it's a great place because you can always find little things. But see, that's the price of that chair. So that... <laughs> Marked down. I kind of like this little lamp. I'm actually really looking for lamps. This milk glass lamp. Well, that's only 25, so that would be half off. I really am looking for lamps, so I'm going to try to get a few lamps whilst here. So let's have a little browse around. I'd like to first kind of walk through and just get a general feel for everything. It's a pretty clock. Not old in Ethan Allen, but still nice for in the 200s. So you'd be paying uh, under $200 for a nice grandfather clock, a modern version of an antique, but quite nice. I like this French settee. I feel like I saw this settee I was here last time. I can't remember the price. Let's see. Oh yes, it's four fifty, so that'd be two twenty-five, fifty percent off. That's not bad. It is a new piece, so it's, you know, it comes with the cushions and everything, so that's a kind of an interesting thought. Here's another lamp. I'm not sure. This would definitely not work for Old Kings, but in Bunny Hall, which is such a hodgepodge of things a pair of those lamps could be quite good i do love ships models this is nice 265 it probably is an old piece that's really nice now that would look lovely at um bunny hall actually and this place has lots of a uh, nice little pottery and so many little things oh this is pretty i love jess i love uh it's hard to find jasper ware in that sort of like taupey brown color and i just thought these sort of and it has the fern pattern so that sort of taupe jasper ware mixed with um kind of forest green um colors and green and white as opposed to blue and white for uh, the boathouse whenever i get around to having fun making that place over so c95 so that would be half of that lots of fun little things hope i'm not going too fast Oh, I like this little setup here with the, this is a pretty desk. It's 170, so half off, that would be really nice. The drawers work nicely. I like how they have it set up with the old typewriter. That's really a pretty setup. I'm sad to see that that big display case, which I've always loved, which I didn't used to be for sale, I saw it has a sold sign. That piece there with the double glass and the drawers and the cabinets, I wanted that for um, Old Kings, but it looks like it went for sale and sold and I missed out. There's another piece of uh, blue and white. 
that's 25. That's pretty. But I love this whole cabinet. I'm kind of sad that I missed out on it being, first of all, finally for sale and then also marked down. Ah well, that's why we need to start going to antiques and thrift shops more. So I'll have a little browse through here. Oh, I think there's more. Oh, another blue and white set. I love this Courier and I have set. It's, I think it's from the mid, it's like mid-century, 1950s. Sweet little paintings. Sometimes you can get really nice original old paintings here as well. This is a cute hat. Always looking for hats. Oh, I like this chair. I actually have an old chair like this. It's 225. It needs to be recovered, but it is an old piece and it's um you know it has that 16th century style. However, this is unfortunately covered in a sort of giraffe print, but the chair itself is really nice. And at half off that's a good price on that because it's the wood and you know you could easily have that and in fact I could probably repulster that myself another lamp I like that with the cranes these are kind of cute 50s dishes I mean I don't really need something like this but the dogwood pattern for 65 for someone who loves mid-century that's that's a good price again I would believe that would be 50% off so if anyone local in the area you should definitely swing by I do love taxidermy. So I'm going slow because even when I'll, oh, I think I look at the Staffordshire couple last time. Um, I try to go slow because even when I'm editing, I'll often find things that I didn't notice whilst there. Oh, I like this. I wonder if that's a print or an actual little sketch. That's nice. And again, sometimes just in the video itself, other people will find things. <laughs> I thought this is funny. It says Stife. I don't know that that's Stife, but I think that's a, a character of something, but I can't recall what that series was, but that funny little hedgehog. All sorts of interesting. Oh, you know, I'm also looking for, oh, this piece. I'm also looking for an old bureau like this. Wow, 275 with a marble top. The drawers are nice it has the mirror. I was thinking something like this. I want to get something like this when we do the bathroom over in the boathouse because I think that sort of washstand look would be so wonderful of with mounting a sink in the bathroom there. So, and I also love these old ice boxes. You know, before there was refrigerators that plug in, you had an ice box which was nice oak, tin lined, and then on the top here you opened up and that's where the ice would go. And the the ice man would come and you'd get your block of ice and and it would go. But these are great storage cabinets for things because they're always really nice oak. And I'm probably going to break this trip up into a, a few videos just because I'm enjoying my shorter um, postcard video. So uh, I will share more than what I'm sharing today. But that's kind of a cute dresser as well. Again, I'm looking for pieces that aren't too dear so I can repaint them and do sort of a painted furniture look and not feel bad about it. I love these little doll head parts. I always love that. Those would be great for my studio. So let's look and see what's in here. And actually, maybe I will think about ed ending the vlog here and then I'll pick up with more in uh, tomorrow's video. So until tomorrow's vlog, hope you have a chance to get out, enjoy your own area and look at some lovely antiques. Until tomorrow, remember, Stay creative. Cheers.